Hello everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Merci d'être des nôtres aujourd'hui. Je tiens tout d'abord à remercier le premier ministre Abiy Ahmed et la présidente Saleh Workswede de m'avoir si chaleureusement accueilli, ainsi que les ministres Ng, Champagne et Hussein. We also have a special guest joining us on this trip, Masai Ujiri, president of the Toronto Raptors. Masai is doing an incredible work in Africa to empower youth through sport. His foundation, Giants of Africa, is helping countless young people, including many young women, reach their full potential. I'm grateful that he was able to join us on this trip and help build even more bridges between Canada and African nations. Thank you, my friend. Now, before I go any further, I want to take a moment in memory of the 157 people, including 18 Canadians, who died in the tragic plane crash here last spring. I know that Ethiopians and Canadians will continue to stand shoulder to shoulder in good times and in bad. Because whether it's the vibrant Ethiopian Canadian community back home or the entrepreneurs who work together across an ocean, we can rely on each other. Here in Addis Ababa, a thriving and innovative capital, you don't have to look too far to see that the future is bright. From a young, educated population to new avenues for trade and investment, you've got the ingredients for success. It's no wonder that Ethiopia has one of the fastest growing economies in Africa and that this region is booming. And that's what brings us here today. Our government is working with Ethiopia and our partners in the African Union to unlock even greater opportunities for people. I had a chance to meet with a number of our partners on the margins of the summit, including the leaders of Nigeria, Rwanda, Egypt, Madagascar, Mauritius and Cabo Verde. I'm looking forward to having more conversations with our African partners throughout the rest of my time here. Cette visite nous donne la chance de multiplier les ponts entre le Canada et l'Éthiopie. Nous avons une opportunité en or de travailler plus étroitement pour créer des emplois et de la croissance dans nos pays respectifs. I know that Minister Ng and the entire Canadian trade delegation have been very busy over the last few days. We now have a new memorandum of understanding between the Canada-Africa Chamber of Business and the Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce and Sectoral Associations. We also plan on co-hosting a clean tech conference in Addis next year. And we announced major new investments to support sustainable economic growth across the region, whether to help farmers, women or young people succeed. Because we know that we cannot reach our full potential unless everyone has a real and fair chance at success. So let me take a moment to talk about our focus on gender equality. When women and girls have access to education and jobs, they lift their communities up. But all too often, they're still missing out on those opportunities. Moving forward together towards greater prosperity means ensuring that no one gets left behind. Our government will always put empowering women at the heart of everything we do, at home and abroad. And we're not alone in that. Ethiopia is leading, with Prime Minister Abiy appointing a gender-balanced cabinet and President Saleh Work advancing women's rights. Ici en Éthiopie, où près de 70% de la population a moins de 30 ans, on ne peut pas oublier les jeunes. Dans tous les pays du monde, les jeunes sont l'avenir de notre réussite commune. J'ai bien hâte de continuer à travailler avec le Premier ministre Abi et les dirigeants de l'Union africaine pour faire en sorte que de la jeunesse africaine puisse s'épanouir. Ensemble, nous pouvons créer des opportunités pour les jeunes d'ici tout en ouvrant de nouveaux marchés qui profiteront aux Canadiens de tous âges. Over the past few days, we've also made progress on one of the most important factors in building economies that work for everyone, clean, sustainable growth. Our oceans and seas have enormous potential to create good jobs for today and tomorrow, but for that to happen, we need to protect them. Our government will continue to lead on combating plastic pollution, just like we will continue to lead on addressing climate change. In fact, Canada will provide funding to the World Bank for climate resilience and new support for women, which attests to the strength of our commitment. 
Alors que nous sommes ici à Addis Ababa pour renforcer notre relation avec l'Éthiopie, notre gouvernement cherche également à profiter pleinement de notre partenariat avec l'Union africaine. Aujourd'hui, je peux annoncer le début des consultations entre le Canada et la Commission de l'Union africaine. Cette relation présente un potentiel incroyable, qu'il soit question de créer des emplois pour les Canadiens et les Africains ou de bâtir un monde plus pacifique et plus égal. Au cours de cette nouvelle décennie, nous irons de l'avant en misant sur la collaboration. Comme vous le savez, le Canada travaille fort pour obtenir un siège au Conseil de sécurité de l'ONU. Notre monde est de plus en plus imprévisible et les défis auxquels nos pays sont confrontés sont complexes. Plus que jamais, le Canada doit avoir l'opportunité de façonner les grandes questions qui ont un impact sur le quotidien de nos citoyens. Et cette visite nous a donc permis d'échanger avec nos partenaires africains sur le sujet et de faire avancer ce dossier. Around the world, people look to Canada as a trusted partner. And there's good reason for that. From strengthening democracy with support from the National Electoral Board of Ethiopia to helping create sustainable peace through a new contribution of $6 million for the UN Peacekeeping Fund, Peace Building Fund, we are stepping up. Whether building relations with Ethiopia and the African Union or pursuing a seat on the United Nations Security Council, we will continue to advance our shared goals. By working together, we can create a brighter future. For Canadians, for Ethiopians, for people across this region. Again, I want to thank Prime Minister Abi and President Saleh Work for welcoming me and our team to Ethiopia.